here, I can see, let me get rid of that little line there. Um, I can see here that the, when the call came in, um, and I can look at the call to see, well, okay, maybe I, I see Bob called me, um, I can see the cell phone number there, I've got a mailbox calling me. I can kind of see the information, I can decide myself, okay, I want to call that number first, right? Based on maybe the caller ID or who it is, maybe the point of the call. Um, and not have to kind of go through them one by one or go through them, hit next, 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 next in the phone system. So again, the visual voicemail is there for you. Um, Excuse me, can yeah. you do um, voicemail or text as well? We don't do it on our system, but there are services out there. Um, there's a lot of great third parties out there. So one of the nice things about the unified messaging side of things is instead of having that message go to your mailbox, you send it to one of the services. And what they do is they'll convert it and then send it back to you. Okay. Um, we looked at doing it on our platform and it's really just a third party and, and there's so many different third parties out there. So we've kind of decided that that's the way to go is let somebody else do it for you. Um, so yeah, that can be done. And there's also been a lot of issues with it, like the, just the different, I guess, the way that you say things, whether you're from the South or from the North or you're, you know, you're a different ethnicity. It's like all that really has issues trying to understand just one tone of everybody's voice. So a lot of people that use like uh, Google to do that run into a lot of issues where it doesn't make any sense. It's just a bunch of gibberish. So like what the heck happened? So the, this is better in the sense that you get that actual message in that person's like tone, so if they're angry or happy, you can hear that as well as the caller ID information, which most people forget to put that in there with cell phones. Now, hey, call me back, and it's like, well, who the, who the heck was that? Um, and then it also is time and date stamp. Plus, you can forward it to other people. So, but I do see a need for um, needing that to text. This uh, law firms, for example, when the uh, lawyers are in court, they may want to just get that text instead of actually listening to the message. Um, so that was one of the things we ran into when we started looking at the services was it worked great for just you and I having a conversation, but there's medical or those legal terms, you needed a translator. So there are services out there that don't, they will not, they will actually listen to the recording and type it out. So those cost a little bit more. Um, so, you know, it wasn't bad. We looked, we played around with them and, and what, it's interesting how the brain works. You can kind of figure things out, right? The brain's able, mm. there's, have you ever seen those scrambled words? <laughs> you can read it and it's scrambled words. But, um, so we found that when we started looking down that path, it was easier to let people choose what service they wanted. Um, and because we can just forward the email, it was pretty good. Okay. All right, so UC Client, again, this application gives you the ability to be more mobile, to use your phone, to make phone calls. Um, there is a soft phone add-on, so I can make it a complete cell phone. So if I'm traveling in an area where there's not cell phone coverage and I'm traveling outside the country and I have Wi-Fi and I don't want to use my cell phone because of the, the amount per minute it may be, um, there is a cell phone available for the Android. And as Sherry mentioned, the iPhone version which should be coming out any day now. Um, and you could do that too, so you can be completely remote. Now, what's great is um, I can go ahead and just dial, the, dial you know, 4350, which is our voicemail, and click call, and it's gonna go ahead and make the call um, and again, it's going to make the call on my, my desk phone over here, right? And I'm controlling it, right? But if I were doing this with my soft phone, it would just go right to my voicemail and be able to call, or I can call an internal person. Or if I don't have a soft phone and I'm using cellular, I can dial an extension in the office. So I can go into the app, dial someone's extension, hit send, and over cellular, a cellular phone call, I can get to Sherry on her extension. Um, and I can talk to her and she can then forward me or I can get to anybody in the organization. So. Again, you don't necessarily need to have Wi-Fi. Um, it's really where you're at. So we, we like the, the functionality and the flexibility because sometimes you don't have great Wi-Fi. Right, so that's, that app is available. Yeah, one thing that's really cool about this app too is we take missed calls for granted. You know, in the past, if somebody calls me on my desk phone, they don't leave a message, I have no way of knowing what that phone number was or who called. If somebody intercoms me and I have this app up, it's gonna let me know that I had a missed call from an intercom, show me the extension number who tried to call me. Uh, it's going to show me missed calls, even if you don't leave a voicemail. So it's kind of unprecedented. I mean, on your cell phone, you do it every day, but on a business phone, you didn't have that option before. So now you can see anybody that calls you. Okay. And then this is also, like I said, it runs over here on my tablet. I'll just hold this up real quick. Um, so we have it running in the tablet version too. Um, and again, these are all linked together. So really, up to three devices, one license gives you the ability to, to have this software. Um, as I mentioned, it, it is, the call manager software is a license, and, and he's going to talk about whether you need it or not on your system. It's not required, of course, to use the phone system. It is available to you if you need these features and functionality. If you need that remote worker, um, or even just someone internally that's moving around the office.